as a home theater freak or even as a audio enthusiast i am sure there has been one brand that we all have together grown up with i mean for some it could be one of their first cool gadget or a product that they possessed the for few others it could be one of their first home theater brand and for few others it could be their first introduction to a hi-fi sound ever with all the guesses that you already have in mind i know you have already guessed it right james b lansing sound that is jbl sound is going to be in our today's brand special video so without wasting any further time let us jump into the video and understand more about how jbl was started how is it in today's time So James B Lansing or JBL has been one of the main founders behind this brand as we all know and the company was formed in Los Angeles California it is still headquartered out there but if you go back to the roots which was back in 1927 how did JBL really start well for that we have to understand one thing which is the movie line okay so metro goldwyn mayer which is the mgm studios have been into movie production movie distribution as well as as a media company and for them sound was very crucial to understand what exactly is happening and how they want to portray it to the audience and one of the main head of the sound department at mgm was struggling to find the right combination of speaker which could solve their requirements and that's where he got in touch with mr james b lansing who is a fantastic audio engineer and he had already started his career making some 6 and 8 inch speakers typically for the radio sets and the radio consoles when both these guys came together they started working on a speaker set which had an amazing high compression driver along with a massive 15 inch subwoofer so that was their first product which came into existence and that literally surprised the mgm studios and that's where jbl's first official product lineup was into the commercial cinema halls so post that we saw a tremendous lineup of products from jbl which today ranges from portable speakers touring products installed pro products which are used in the professional application they have got a fantastic lineup of portable speakers headphones all those category and they also have got a fantastic lineup for recording studios and the home theater sound now that's the entire product lineup that jbl has managed to develop over the years but before moving ahead let us go back to that history back in 1927 wherein they started jbl after the first initial years the company started doing good business with the mgf tie up obviously things started changing more drastically for them but one of the things that this audio engineer who was an amazing innovative character couldn't do by himself was he couldn't have a good business acumen which meant that he could do whatever best he could with regards to the speaker but it went when it came to paying off the distributors the suppliers vendors and to manage the accounts he couldn't really go better and he always have had partnerships that either failed or that just took the company down so officially in 1946 jbl sound was launched and along with him was a vp mr thomas but what happened again when he realized that he couldn't still you know get a good business out of this jbl brand he committed suicide in the year 1949 now when he committed suicide one good thing that mr james b lansing did was he had an insurance cover of $10000 back in 1949 but the nominee or the beneficiary for this was his company and his company which is jbl finally got the funds and to run that company mr thomas started taking active efforts he took the last one third stake which was with james b lansing's wife and he solely became the owner of jbl sound in the next two decades he shot up the company's sales to a record high level and he created a brand of jbl sound that we all know of today but in 1969 he sold this company to jervis corporation which today stands as harman international but again in 2016 what happened as we all know samsung bought the entire harman international group for a 5 billion dollar cash deal now i know you would be wondering that why would samsung get into that but there's another reason for it and in case you want to know that reason let us know in the comments below so that we can make a separate video for all of you to understand that why did samsung buy the harman international 
So this was about the entire history. Now let us try to understand what kind of products should you look forward in the JBL product range. So now while we are already know that JBL has got a vast business sectors ranging from automobile to uh, commercial application to DJ, artist, etc. Let us talk about the home segment or the consumer segment that we all belong to, right? So in the consumer segment, JBL has basically two categories. One is the entry level consumer market that they cater to and the second category is their JBL premium range of products. In the consumer category, we all have seen JBL flips, JBL JBL Go, JBL Pulse, the headphones, sound bars, and obviously the JBL stage home theater speakers. This is all the product range that belongs to the JBL consumer category. But when we come to the consumer uh, premium category, sorry, when we come to the premium category, over there we see one brand which is regarded as one of the most premium home theater brand which is the JBL Synthesis brand. Now in JBL Synthesis there is the HDI series of floor standing speaker packages then there is an SCL range which is the custom install range from JBL Synthesis then they have SDA range which is the power amplification range and then they have also got one of their flagship product which is almost 1 crore for a pair which is the JBL Everest. Now that's the kind of scope. They even have got a fantastic two channel stereo lineup of product with products like L100 in their kitty. So that is all about JBL synthesis which represents the premium category of JBL speakers and power amplifiers. Belonging to a very very elite group which is the Harman International Group they own multiple brands which complement in all these audio video segments right from Mark Levinson and Lexicon which are more famous for their amplification they have also got Revel speakers which are used more in the Lincoln motor cars and that is also having a brand which has got a home range so these are some of the brands that they have been complementing well with Arcam which is yet another fantastic revolutionary electronic brand from UK is also been owned by Harman international so with so many brands to complement the JBL synthesis range of speakers JBL today has got a fantastic range to offer to each one of us so tell me honestly how many of you have already heard the, either the JBL state series or the JBL portable products or you have also listened to the JBL synthesis range of products and if you have do let us know your feedback on JBL below but while we end today's brand special video, let me give you some hard facts about JBL. JBL as a brand today has got a product to offer to each one of us. Irrespective of the application or irrespective of the price range, they have got something or the other. Be it for a car audio, be it for your personal entertainment, be it for a home entertainment or even for a professional uh, equipment or a professional audio system. You listen to sound, the first name that has always been popping up with our minds or in our minds has been JBL and that's the kind of weightage that this brand carries even today that is almost 100 years later. So let me know your feedback and your opinion on JBL in the comments below. One of the things that I always look forward to in JBL is their traditional or a proprietary high compression driver which has been a significant game changer in the entire lineup of JBL products. For the commercial applications as well as for the home theater applications, JBL high compression drivers along with the massive powerful bass as we call it as an American bass is some of the traditional signatures that one can always find in JBL. With that, I Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, will see you again in my next video. But before we end, do let us know in the comments as to what kind of brands would you like us to feature more in our brand special video series as well as if you want to design a fantastic home theater system for yourself which may have JBL as one of the brands then don't forget to check the link above as well as in the description. Thank, that's it from my end. Thank you so much for watching. I Tanmay Mehta will see you again in the next video. Thank you.